while the Attorney General and Secretary of State intend to tell voters on the ballot that the, that quote, revenues from the new tax would, would be used, subject to appropriation by the legislature, for public education, public colleges and universities, and for the repair and maintenance of roads, bridges, and public transportation. Any ordinary voter reading about a new tax and reading that the revenues would be used for specific purposes would naturally assume that the money would be used for those purposes, that it would not be used for prisons or for redecorating the offices on Beacon Hill. That is certainly the impression that proponents of the tax want voters to have. And to support our lawsuit, we actually um, conducted a poll. And uh, over 70% of voters looking at this summary understood that the language must be used for education and transportation spending. But as you've already heard, that's not accurate because money's fungible. And so the legislature can just play a shell game and, and move the money around. That's not just us saying that. Back in 2018, when we were arguing against the 2018 <laughs> version of this, the Attorney General herself actually put that in a brief. Um, she told the court uh, not to worry that this was a forbidden uh, appropriation of money through a citizen's petition, um, because what she told the legislature back then was, sorry, what she told the SJC back then was the legislature would retain ultimate discretion over spending choices because money's fungible. Because the proposed amendment does not require otherwise, the legislature could choose to reduce funding in specified budget categories from other sources and replace it with a new surtax revenue. That's not me saying that, that's not Pioneer saying that, that's the Attorney General saying that. The reason we filed our lawsuit is that we asked the Attorney General to put into the summary that very same clarification of the way the earmark works, and she refused. So we had to go to court, and we're now asking the SJC to require the Secretary of State and the Attorney General to provide that clarification to voters, so that voters get the same understanding about how this works, that the the government gave the court.